Okay guys, so here we're going to attempt to uh, demonstrate what we, uh, what we covered with the uh, Word document. Uh, I've got my Phantom set up right in front of me. I'm going to have the tripod right here, Phantom right in front of me. We're going to start it facing in this direction and I'm going to end up, I'm going to stay facing in this direction. So the idea is to demonstrate everything that we covered with the uh, Word document. Let's see how it turns out. Okay. So I got the Phantom lined up this way. I'm gonna be facing this way. Uh, let's go ahead and power on our transmitter. I mean, our, our controller. And stick our battery in there. And let's let it warm up. It's going through the whole warm up procedure. Warming up the IMUs. And at this point, some some at some point during this startup procedure, it also establishes the home lock, which is what we're going to use to uh, to be able to bring it back home using uh, IOC. I think at that point, that's where it, it uh, got the home point. Now it's finding the satellites for the GPS. And we should be ready to go here in a minute. Looks like we're good. Go ahead and secure the battery. Okay, again, we're gonna start the flight with home lock off and we're in GPS mode. So we're gonna take off and then just go straight. We're going to go straight. We got about a 20 mile an hour wind today, by the way. Gusts of 20 miles an hour. Okay, so what I want to do now is the same thing we did with the uh, Word document. We're going to turn it to the left and then go forward just a little bit. Again, what we're trying to do is simulate what we did in the spreadsheet. I mean, with the uh, Word document. Okay, I'm going to stop it right there and then I'm going to turn left again and see, now you're going to see that as I go forward, it's actually coming back to me. So basically we went forward, then we turned it, forward, then we turned it, and forward. All every time hitting forward on the joystick, but always it's, it's going forward, but the, the orientation has changed, so forward is actually coming back to me. So now I'm just going to turn this guy around and fly it away from me. And then we're going to go into home lock mode, and then I'm going to show you how it comes back. Let's get him out there a little bit. See how he's going forward now. And then right here, I think right here is good. I think hopefully you can still see it. Let 
Now, again, it's, if I go forward now, it's going forward. So what I want to do now is go to home lock and it's going to come right back to where it came, where it started, that starting point. So I'm going to switch it to home lock and then I'm going to bring it back slowly. I'm going to do this slowly. Let, it get, let me get it down a little bit because it, it flew up. See, he's coming back to me right now. Straight back to me. Now, if I keep pulling back on this, it's going to go into course lock, in which case, once it gets that 10 meter area, it's going to go straight back. And I think that right there it just went to course lock. See, because I'm pulling back and now it's going straight back. Okay, I'm going to take it out of home lock. I'm turning off IOC. Let me lower him just a little bit. I think he's out of camera view. Turn him and then we're going to go back out. And hopefully you can still see him in the camera there. Let me lower it just a little bit. We got wind gusts to about 20 miles an hour today, so it's, it's a little rough. Okay, so right now I've got him more or less pointed that way. I'm going to switch into course lock mode. And in course lock mode, when I go left, he should go left. And if I go right, he should go right. But to make it more interesting, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn this guy around, turn him facing me. See, I can see it still. It's actually facing me right now. So if I go forward right now, he's going to come towards me. Which forward shouldn't be coming back, it should be going forward. But now I'm going to switch it to course lock. And in course lock, I go forward and it's going to go forward. See there? And now I go, act, the camera is actually facing me. The front of the quadcopter is actually facing me. But I hit forward and it's going forward. I hit back, it's coming back. I hit to the left, it goes to the left. And I go to the right and he goes to the right. Again, course lock. The difference between him and home lock is that it's going to take into consideration where the quadcopter was pointing when you started the flight. You started the flight, he was pointing that way, so forward will always be that way in course lock, in course lock mode. Left will always be this way, this way, right will always be this way, and back will always be this way, regardless of which way the copter is actually uh, pointing. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring him back. Lower him a little bit. Bring him back. Get him up. Bring him back over this way. He's away from the camera now. Alright, let's turn him around. I'm gonna take him out of out of course slot. And then I wanna turn him around. Right? Lower him. It's, it's really hard to control because the wind is, is really acting up today. I want to just turn him around. Let's go out a little bit. This time I'm going to get him way, way out. He's way out there now. I'm going to turn to the left, go forward, which should, again, forward, but now forward is actually going to the left. Stop him right there. Don't know if you guys can see there. Hopefully you can. I'm going to go a little bit further to the left. Let me check the viewfinder, see if you guys can still see that. if you can. Let me lower that a little bit. Okay, and then here I'm just going to go ahead 
demonstrate home lock one more time. I'm gonna switch to home lock, pull back on the joystick. Remember, he's actually pointed that way. He's actually going this way. And now I'm gonna just pull back on it and he's gonna start making his way back to his home point. You can see him coming back now. And again, if I hold on to this and don't let go, he'll switch into course lock mode and then go straight back. Pretty soon now, right there, it just switched into course lock mode. And the camera's actually facing that way. The front of the copter is actually facing that way. Okay, so we'll take him out of home lock, turn him around, get him back into camera view. Uh, let me lower him because I don't think you're going to be able to see him there. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to spin him around. I, I'm going to pretend he's real far away. I have no idea where he is. No idea which way is forwards and backwards, left, right. I have no idea. He's just spinning around. He's so far I can't tell. I'm going to switch it into course lock mode at this time. Instead of going to home lock, we're going to go to course lock. Now, again, course lock, forward, right, left, back. So I want to go to the left. There he goes, to the left. And I want to go back. Here he comes. Again, I have no, no way of knowing which way the, the quadcopter is actually pointing because I've lost orientation. I want to go to the right now. I want to bring him back here. Battery's running low, so I'm going to have to go ahead and end this real soon. Then I want to bring him back. Right, and as you can see there, clearly, the camera was facing this way. Yet, when I pull back, he comes right, right, right towards me. He's in course lock. And that's basically it. I hope that this, uh, this was informative. I hope you guys were able to now really understand what the difference between home lock and course lock is. And obviously, if you have any questions, by all means, uh, post a comment. And uh, I'll do what I can to, to get that answer for you. Thanks a lot for watching.